Hello everybody. I am back with my update video of the new mixing and writing setup here at the new house that I'm renting. Um, so I think in the last video I was waiting for some rack kits to come in and uh, nothing was wired yet. So a few weeks back I finally got everything wired up. I've been, well hello there, doing some writing and some mixing in here and everything has been working swimmingly. I always say that word when I'm recording. I never use it in real life. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, um, I'm very happy with the workflow and how everything is kind of laid out. So I'll give you a quick run through without trying to, trying not to be too um, overly explanatory. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will respond as quickly as possible. So we got the six, the big six over here um, and I have everything routed to it. Uh, both for mixing and for when I'm just writing. I, I have a studio here in town um, that you probably saw in the other videos. That's where most of the gear is. That's where all the real tracking goes down. But when I'm working on ideas, um, I mean, trust me, I can get keeper takes in here for sure. But um, this is kind of where I just, without having to get in the car and drive anywhere, I can lay down some ideas and, and get something going. So I got the, uh, the Mellotron Micro here. I got the RD8. A um, couple pedals, I got my 64 Blackface Champ um, pedals, CR8000, um, more pedals, and um, down here is really great. Um, I'm really happy with kind of how I can just plug and play. Um, so I got my bass rig right here, goes into this maestro into my Origin um, bass rig, Super Vintage, it's the uh, SVT. And that returns right here on channel two all the time on the mic pre. So that's always just ready to go, which is glorious. And then I go over here, I could use this board or this board. And this is my main guitar pedal board. And um, it goes out of here. There's a junction box right here from uh, Goodwood. So I'll go in there and I'll sum the stereo output to mono uh, with this box. And then it'll, or I can do stereo if I want, but right now I'm doing mono. And it'll go into this Ruby from UA, which is a, it'll, it's a Vox AC30 basically in a pedal. And it sounds fantastic. And that will go right here on channel one. Um, channel one also has the, uh, is being fed from this uh, 421 on the champ. So I'll usually do like, you know, guitar left, guitar right, or guitar left, guitar right. So I have different tones. Um, I only have my telly here right now kind of my main guy so um I'll take that back and forth in the studio and if I need a different tone I'll, I'll swap and bring another guitar here for a day or so and I got my reamp box down here um and I, I will clean up these wires it's you know it's under the desk no one sees it um the pedals return to channel 9 and 10 all the time it's just always rigged up and currently that's going through uh the 16 second delay in the H90 very powerful little duo there and you know using my sins i can send anything through the pedals at any time also um since everything's right on the front of the reamp box of uh, the io i mean i can hit this pedal board with it i can hit any of these i can hit this pedal board it's just easy i just plug it into the to the rig and um i don't have to do any patching or any extra plugging in and it's really fast and very uh efficient which i am all about um so, um, more on the setup here. The Dynamite um, is on 7 and 8, and here we are right here. Um, glorious, glorious piece of gear. I love the Dynamite to death um, for multiple reasons. Um, but yeah, I love being able to send uh, drums or anything through it, mainly drums, obviously, uh, for the Dynamite, and having a parallel smashed, you know, uh, drum sound, um, or just, you know, uh, doesn't even have to be parallel. I can just make it the main, you know, just if I want like a really cool, like slammed room sound, I can use that for a, uh, section of a song or something like that. Usually not the whole song, but Hey, you never know. Um, on the master insert, I should have had the lights on. I should have turned stuff on before I did this. Um, we have, oops, sorry. I pointed to the fusion, but first we are going to hit the ultraviolet and then it goes to the stam, uh, bus compressor, and then it hits the fusion. Um, so on my mix bus, 
in the doll, it used to be the ATR tape machine, uh, and then it would go to a curve bender, an SSL style bus compressor, and then uh, like a virtual transformer, um, true iron, and then a pull tech. And yeah, I think that, I think that's it. Um, and then I have like one, I use the master desk kind of just give it one last little bump. So people feel like the volume is, um, optimal for, you know, their enjoyment before it's mastered. Anyways, um, so I'm waiting for, there's a stereo pull tech coming out from Stam soon. I'm, wa I'm waiting for that to get here. That'll go over here somewhere. I'll probably move these pedals or maybe I'll put it over there by the dynamite. I'm not sure. So that way my whole mix bus can be analog. That's kind of my goal is mixing in the box, but feeding everything through an analog mix bus. Um, that way recall is easy and everything. And I still have my little stamp on things um, to kind of make it a little more three dimensional and a little added grit and just bring it to life a little bit more and get it in my wheelhouse, how I like things to sound. Um, so in the 500 rack here, um, I have two of the uh, H2 Helios uh, EQs, and those are on the first two channels on inserts, guitar on bass. Then I have the Doctor from Imperial Labs, which is uh, very underrated. I, I really enjoy that. And that's on uh, channel three. And then the Stam Blue Stripe 1176 is on four. So you, sometimes I'll run vocals out of the doll and through there. Um, of course, I got the Ableton Push, got my Apollo Twin. Um, I don't need much IO in here. Um, you know, the big six is also an interface, but I, I use Luna 99% um, of the time. So I'll usually only be able to feed one or two things out of the doll at any given moment for processing uh, outboard and I'll just record it in. Um, I do use the big six as an interface when I'm in Ableton and that's usually just when I'm in writing mode and kind of messing around. Um, it's helpful to have um, that work as an interface as well. I would like to eventually have a few more, uh, maybe another rack Apollo in here, but um, I just don't have the budget for it right now and it's, it's not 100% needed. Um, so yeah, uh, th I think that honestly covers it. Um, I, while I'm setting up or getting inspired, I listen to records in here and pet my dog, who's actually about to go to a new family. I'm going to miss her so much. And uh, there's my Ricky. That's my, that's my baby, my pride and joy. Only bass I own. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's it, guys. Um, a lot of you have been asking me to upload an update, and I'm sorry it took so long. And I'm sorry my camera work. I honestly didn't even pay attention. Uh, I was doing the talking, and so I hope it wasn't too shaky or um, annoying. If you have any questions, hit me to, uh, down below, and I will be sure to answer anything. Uh, if it has to do with routing or um, setup, anything like that. And if you're in Nashville, shoot, if you're anywhere and you need help uh, sketching out a blueprint or getting a plan together for your studio, um, I'm thinking about offering my services in that way um, as a side gig. So if you need help planning a studio, uh, whether it's a mixing room, home studio for writing, or a full-fledged studio, um, I'd be happy to help. So let me know. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.